Welcome back to the Crypto's Key Conversation. We're going to jump into the Quorum airdrop. Obviously, we've discussed about the uh, Sologenic airdrop and kind of what's been going on with the current updates with that airdrop. As we talked about earlier, the Sologenic airdrop has completed. So people that hold uh, Solo within their uh, designated exchange that supports the Quorum airdrop or they hold it in a compatible wallet like the uh, Zim wallet here uh, are eligible. If they have trust lines, they're eligible for this Quorum airdrop. So coming over here, uh, quorum airdrop, uh, there's a hundred million core for Sologenic community and solo holders. So as they say here, uh, with no initial coin offering or token sale, Quorum is an open source project built to be 100% community based, allowing this technology to support extensive future growth in dApps in DeFi space within the whole blockchain ecosystem. So if you come down here, it says the system will take a snapshot at a random day and time each month for the next 371 days. The first snapshot is scheduled to be taken at random, uh, a random time between the 24th to the 31st of December, 2021. A total of 100 million core will be distributed to those wallet addresses holding solo at the time of each snapshot. A total of 13 snapshots will be taken within the next three, 371 days for all solo wallets. The first snapshot obviously was the 21st to the 31st. So that snapshots already happened for the solo holders. If you come down here, they have a, a schedule down here. And as you can see, they have snapshot two, three, January, February, March, going all the way to uh, next year, uh, 2022, or excuse me, this year, the end of 2022. So they're going to be taking snapshots or whoever's holding um, solo in the, uh, you know, compatible wallets and exchanges that are supporting the quorum airdrop. So what if you hold your solo on a centralized exchange? Solo holders who hold their assets on exchanges will need to periodically check and see if their exchange is supporting the core airdrop. So we initially reached out to exchanges and asked them to distribute the coin, uh, the core tokens to their respective users. However, the solo community may help in asking their favorite exchange to consider participating in the airdrop. So long story short, uh, quite honestly, the best thing you do is custody it yourself is educate yourself on how to do it, like uh, through the Zoom wallet and, you know, how to set up the trust line there. Uh, now for people that, you know, receive their solo airdrop through this um, this airdrop, whether you had solo or XRP within your Zim wallets or whatever the case is, and you have solo, you're going to be eligible for uh, this this airdrop for the quorum. So it says, first thing, first thing first, let's start with my tokenomics and how you can have me. My total supply is 500 million. I'm not for sale, but you can have me if you hold solo. So obviously they talk about the snapshot, and then uh, they have this this this. Uh, tweet thread coming down here so we're going to come to this next post it says the tutorial will be released to answer your questions about the trust line for core airdrop in a nutshell one solo holders on the decks do not need to have trust lines for the snapshots and then it says solo holders need to establish a trust line to receive core at the time of distribution so obviously like i just said if you had the uh you know the zim wallet and you've already set a trust line before the solo airdrop whether you had solo or xrp you're pretty much good to go so a gentleman down here says if someone if someone's solo was on the Zoom wallet, does that mean it's on the solo decks or do they need to do anything to receive core? And then if you come down here, it says, does this count if I hold on Zoom? And it says, uh, Sologenic had tweeted saying, yes, uh, assuming you already have a trust line with Sologenic Gateway. So pretty much if you have a trust line set up and you already have hold your solo in your Zim wallet or any compatible wallet that's you know supporting this airdrop and you have that trust line set up, you should be good to go for this uh, quorum airdrop. And as as they say, it's it's community based. So there's you know there's no ICOs, you know there's no token sales. Just going to be airdrop to those that hold solo. So for me in particular, I was one of the later ones that received my solo uh, in, through my Zoom wallet. And I know there was a lot of people in the community that were complaining and having issues and worrying about you know, they haven't received their solo tokens. And quite honestly, when I was responding to them on my YouTube video, on my YouTube channel, I was letting them know like, hey, I haven't received mine either. You know, it's kind of a waiting game. And that's when they were at that 80 to 85% completion uh, completion side of things. But it was like the following day when they were getting ready to conclu conclude the airdrop, I had received mine. So for me in particular, I'm gonna continue to hold mine in my Zoom wallet and, you know, take part in those snapshots and take part in this quorum airdrop and just kind of receive these free tokens and, you know, and just continue on there. So that's kind of what's what's been going on. This update with the Quorum airdrop. I think it's pretty huge that you know we as solo holders have the ability to to get these, and I think it's valuable. So with all that being said, stay strong out there. Be safe.